Hello and welcome to the UL Monroe Dynasty on College Football 25. If you're new here, ULM has started off much better than a year ago where we only won two games, but now we have a solid three game win streak and we're looking to become bowl eligible in this video. Junior running back Ben Galloway has really stepped up for us and we're going to continue to lean on him in this video. He's made crucial plays when we've needed him to, whether it's on the ground or through the air. And all these games are played on Heisman. The sliders will be in the description if you like how the gameplay looks and want your dynasty to look and feel the same as mine. In today's video, we have another doubleheader starting out with JMU. They had their troubles this year, but coming off a very strange double bye week, they're going to be looking to give the Warhawks as much trouble as possible. They'll most likely be leaning on senior wide receiver Taji Hudson. He's a do-it-all wide receiver, and he'll be lining up against freshman cornerback Emmanuel Aconquo, who's been really locked down for us. This will be today's feature game, and next week against Sarah Hughes will be highlights. I don't know how much I'll be doing double game videos next season. Let me know how you feel about it down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button. It only takes a moment of your time, and I really appreciate it. Last video hit 21 likes, and if we can get 15 on this one, I'll post next episode this Sunday. We only have four games left on the season and a ton of players graduating, so this team is going to look a lot different next year. So make sure you subscribe and don't miss any videos that come out. Now let's get into this game. Josh Douglas got two running backs in the backfield on this one. Motion one out left and he'll hand it off this time. Not getting much, a gain of two on that one. That was Camarion Baldwin. Now faking it and Josh Douglas getting hit hard. The freshman QB under duress so far. The Warhawks sending a lot of pressure. They do again right here. And that's going to leave a man open on the left side. The freshman Josh McAfee with star dev gets beat on that play. Now first down and 10. Underneath finds his tight end. That's Pfeiffer. Two catches for 32 yards now. I'll hand it off to Russell Mitt in the backfield. Rodgers bringing him down quickly. Third down and five. JMU running the hurry up, no huddle. And it is working wonders on this offense, uh, defense, excuse me. First and 10 now at the 28. Baldwin getting this one and brought down. After a gain of eight, it's second down and two. Looking over the middle after the play action fake. The defender was all over the receiver there. Couldn't break it up though. And on first down, he's looking right side for Mines. He's almost getting the touchdown. His first down and goal. They'll hand it off to Russell. Diving in. He'll get the score. JMU's offense looking sharp on that one. No huddle offense. 10 plays for 79 yards in two minutes time. Now General Booty in this offense is going to try to do exactly what JMU's did, but not starting out too great. Tyler Griffin dropping this one. He was wide open. Now second down and 10. Booty looking underneath on the left side for Tyler. No, not Tyler Griffin. This is Destin Hill, the transfer from Florida State. He'll make it third down in inches and lets Booty sneak it. Pick up the first down. Now at the 30. Booty looking for Destin Hill again on this drive. Really like him. He's a junior. He didn't develop whenever we got him, but he will develop after this year. And now looking for Griffin again on this play. He gets a juke to the inside and gets a little bit more yards. Running some RPO. They'll hand it off to Galloway this time. He breaks a tackle and fights forward for a gain of six. Now we've got two substitutions in the backfield. Devontae Proctor and Hunter Smith check in. One's a senior and one is a freshman. The quarterback... As a freshman I brought in, he's got 87 speed. He hurries up this offense. He's going to stay out on this field. And he'll find Destin Hill, who cuts out left side. Good move right there by the wide receiver. Proctor stays in, and, Call and Galloway comes back in. Proctor tries to avoid the pressure, but they are all over it. Running some QB containing, it looked like. So on third and goal, we spread them out five wide. Booty trying to find Galloway, but it's broken up, knocked free. So out will come the Warhawk special teams. Welsh's kick is through. Not much kick power on the kid, but he's got a good set of abilities. And if he develops well, he might be pretty good. Now Josh Douglas scrambling out. He's going to pick up a lot on this one. First down, a gain of 20. Josh Douglas got some wheels on him. 
And now running some play action. Good blocking for JMU today. Even through the pressure. ULM is sending pressure on every play, even here. Trying to get it to Russell, but the senior defensive tackle, Hamlin, is all over it. Running a screen out right. This is a swing screen for Russell. And he's going to pick up the first down. Hurry up offense at the 26. Douglas dropping back. Had a little bit of pressure sneaking in. But this pass will be caught for Hudson out left. Russell swinging out to his right. And he has a man open. First down, moving the chains inside the 10. Staying with this hurry up offense. They've been doing it all game so far. Now looking for this RPO out right. And Jaden Mines trying to jump over a couple of defenders. On second and goal, they'll hand it off and lose a yard. So third and goal from the five now. Staying with these two tight ends. They get open, but Rubio will find the freshman Douglas and bring him down. A sack on the play, and out will come the special teams, but the kick is up and good. JMU will extend their lead by seven once more. So out comes Booty. Getting this one to Galloway on the jet sweep. Getting some good blocks on the right side. Nana Davis gets another one. And Galloway will get a couple of extra. Up to the 36-yard line now. Staying in this five-wide set. Making a few adjustments. Protection breaking down on this play. And it looked like his tight end, Ben Shawal. The freshman was open. Ernie Ben Shawal. Ben Shawal. Ben Shawal. Oh, I'm, I'm not. I'll figure it out. Give me some time. All right. Galloway on third down and 11. Running a screen for him. And he's got a man out there to meet him, but he's spun away from him. Fighting, trying to get the first down. It's fourth down in inches. You know he's going for it. Bring out the QB sneak. Galloway made it inches, so I had to bring out the QB sneak. Now, first down and 10. Booty taking a shot for his tight end. That's Quad Harrison. He's lost a lot of playing time this season with the freshman that came in. On this play, Galloway's going to get it out right for a gain of one. Ran a lot of yards to get one yard. Proctor on this play for second down and nine. Finds Nana Davis wide open. That was a perfect pass. Second down and ten. They're going to run some option with Proctor here, and he's going to get a good gain of nine, making this third down a lot more manageable. Running some hurry up now. Galloway's tired. They hand it off to him anyway, and he goes into the end zone untouched, and he will tie this game up. But Quad Harrison, he's a senior now. Last season, he played a lot of tight end for us. He got 900 yards. But Ernie Ben Shawal has kind of taken over that role of number one tight end. But we've got a few tight end, two tight end formations that he stays in. Speaking of two tight end, that's what JMU is running right now. Good protection on this play, but he throws it up left side, and it'll be intercepted by the freshman Emmanuel Okonkwo. He'll snag it out of the air and takes it out of bounds. Getting this ball back to the offense at the 47-yard line, and now they have a chance to go up by seven. But on this play, they're going to lose a yard. Galloway can't find an opening. Running a screen now, letting the blocks develop, and they sure do. Galloway's busting down the left side. He gets pushed out of bounds. Three catches for 58 yards so far after the jet sweep in that play. Now on this play, he's going to look right side for Nana Davis, who speeds away from the defender. And now on first down and 10, they hand it off to the running back, Ozario Smith, another senior who lost play time after a considerable amount last year. And Proctor got lifted off his feet that time, but on third and goal, they try to get it to Galloway on that option. And it gets stuffed. So fourth and five, they bring out Welsh. His kick will be good. So now ULM is up by three for the first time they lead in this one. On this play, they sent the house. Rodgers will bring him down. Loss of four. Running a screen, an inside screen for the wide receiver. They'll pick up three and another screen on this play for the running back this time. Russell getting some good blocking on this play, but the 97 speed safety will bring him down before he can get there. And look how far he had to run to get this play. He ran across the field for this one. From the right side to the left. 
So now Proctor is going to start this drive in the shotgun. Booty is not in on this one either. They'll hand it off to Galloway on second down and eight. He'll pick up a gain of three. Third down and five now. Proctor setting up the protection the way he wants it. Still got some heavy pressure up the middle though. And he got hit hard on that one. Doesn't have the best injury rating. That's why I'm trying to scout a few quarterbacks. Might not get all of them. Uh, there's a couple on the board, but I only think I'm going to bring in one. One's already getting targeted by someone else. But on this play, they get a gain of six. So make second down and four. They'll get this one complete. How about Jaden Mines keeping his feet inbounds, able to maintain it and move the chains. First down and 10, though. He's getting sacked by Hamlin and Poulin. Loss of eight that time. And no pressure on this play. Good protection. And Maxwell Moss will get a gain of seven. Douglas faking it to Russell. And Hamlin's all over him this time. He'll swallow him up. The pass will come out. No fumble. So out comes JMU special teams. Kick is good. And they'll tie this one up. 60 seconds to go. Proctor remains on the field, and he's going to get fumbled, strip sack, and JMU recovers it, taking it to the house. Big number 42 will get the scoop and score, and they'll go up by seven yet again. Just 56 seconds to go. General Booty will come back into this game, running the bubble out for Destin Hill, who spins back inside to pick up the first down. Good move by the wide receiver. Now at the 41, Booty's going to take a shot down the middle of the field for Davis. The shortest receiver on the field. Maybe not the best idea to throw it up into double coverage to him. Now trying to get it to him on this RPO, but it did not work very well. I kind of like that play. Works in practice, not in live action, though. Running a screen on third down. He'll get a gain of five, so out will come Gullib over this punt. And he'll get a good one. A lot of power on it. He'll fair catch it at the 11. The 11. And now Douglas coming out to his left. But he'll throw it back right for Russell. And Chris Rogers got a hand on it. But he'll drop it. Now hand it off to Russell. That'll take us into halftime. They didn't want to try to do nothing else with it in their own. With their backs to their red zone. Or end zone. Excuse me. And... ULM down by seven once more after that scoop and score. They're going to have to change some things on this offense. A lot of Proctor today. I, I don't know why General Booty isn't playing too much. Maybe he's got a little bit of a, a cold or something, but they're running a lot of Proctor today. He'll hand it off to Galloway this time on second down in inches. Galloway has been pretty unsuccessful so far. 2.2 yards of carry. And now on first down, they get a gain of three. Motioning Davis to the right side. They'll run Galloway back left. Gets a good block. Trying to fight forward, but he'll get stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Now running the option for Proctor. He'll pick up the first down. All right. That's a good play, but now his foot is getting he's a little banged up. And out will come General Booty. He's going to take a shot immediately, and it'll get broken up for Tyler Griffin. Cornerback knocked it free. And now they'll get Tyler Griffin in the game with a jet sweep. But there's a flag on the field. Gets a good block on the right side. But I don't think this one's going to stand. They're going to bring it back. And it'll be holding on the offense. I think that's Devon Smith, the left tackle. So now Booty will find Ben Shawal wide open over the middle. He'll make this third down a lot more manageable. Third down and five. Booty's got good protection and looks underneath for Destin Hill for a gain of four. So fourth and one, and the coach has to think about if he wants to go for it. He'll bring out Proctor and hand it off to Galloway. Good blocking by the O-line. Found the hole. Galloway picked up the first down. Now looking underneath over the middle, actually. He'll move the chains on that one. That was a good catch. Now Galloway on the jet sweep. He'll jug back inside, trying to get a few extra yards. Spreading them out here. Booty dancing around in the pocket. Ooh, lucky that wasn't intercepted. I believe that was just Justin Eaglin with the drop. They'll hand it off on third down. 
And that'll be fourth down and one. You're running the sneak yet again. Third down, a third time this game. Now running a sweep for Nana Davis. He gets the blocks he needs, and he has the speed to get to the end zone. Out ran the defender. And now he can dance in the end zone and tie this one up. Nah, nah, Davis. We do like to run those jet sweep with him. He's pretty small, but he does have 92 speed. He's the fastest receiver. Behind that is Destin Hill with 91. On this play, Douglas with an acrobatic throw over the middle for Russell, who hangs on and gets a couple extra yards. There's a flag on the field. It'll be on the defense, so this play will stand. They'll hand it off to Russell up the middle. No, this isn't Russell this time. It's Kamarion Baldwin. He hit the gap. There was no defenders to bring him down in the middle. And now down by seven yet again. And Proctor will come out on this, or come in on this play. Booty comes out. They'll hand it off to Galloway. And it's third down and three. Proctor pressure from the middle. And he just has to try to find someone open. He doesn't. And we have to punt it away. JMU has a chance to go up by two scores here. They find Taji Hudson on this play. Haven't heard his name much today. Here's Russell. We definitely have heard his name today. He's going to get this first down. Throws a man off of him. Josh Douglas over 250 after that big play. Looking right side for his tight end. Here goes Pfeiffer. Josh Pfeiffer trying to get in. And he'll get inside the red zone, actually. I was going to say he was trying to, but he did. Loss of three that time, though. So it's second down and 13. Douglas running the wide receiver mid-screen. And he's going to get up to the six-yard line. Third down and three. Warhawks need a stop. And there he is. Taji Hudson will spin his way into the end zone. Just when I was talking about how we haven't heard much of him today. He's going to extend this lead by 14 now. Just two minutes to go in the, 13, in the third quarter. Now Proctor will find Wad Harrison for a gain of two. Not much going on first down. They hand it off to Galloway here. And he's going to run away from number four. Getting outside. That was Julius Henley, the middle linebacker, that he was able to get away from. Now Tyler Griffin gets a good block from Nana Davis, and then he has to run him over because he got in the way. Proctor will bring a man in motion, fake it to Galloway, and he has a man open down the field. There's Destin Hill catching it and falling down before he goes out of bounds. Now running a jailbreaker screen for Destin Hill. He'll go out of bounds this time. First down and 10, Proctor scrambling to his right. He is a right-handed quarterback, so that's a good idea. And he'll pick up the first down. Good scramble there. That'll take us into the fourth quarter. We start at the four-yard line. Proctor in on this play. They run the QB wrap, and it'll get one yard. Bubble screen, but they'll not, not a screen. They'll run the RPO, and Galloway gets it. Whenever we run those RPOs, it usually goes to the bubble. But that time we hand it off and Galloway scores. And this one almost intercepted it on deflected into the hands of his receiver. Maxwell Moss able to pick up the first down. Now taking a shot for the left side. It's Taji Harris. He was the target and Esther picks it off. Esther isn't the tallest cornerback. But the senior makes the play and gets this ball back to his offense when they need it most. At the 50-yard line now, Proctor starts this drive, handing it off to Galloway, who runs into his own lineman. Gets a gain of three. Handing it off to him again on this one. He's our workhorse so far today, not wanting in to sub him out. First down and 10. Here's Booty looking right side. This one broken up, trying to find Tyler Griffin. Now running this screen or RPO play for Nana Davis. And it's not working out too well. Running a swing screen now for Galloway. This one looks promising. He'll make it fourth and in inches. That counted as a rushing play. But here comes Booty on the sneak. We've ran it four times now. He's got eight yards. Galloway gets four on that play. Makes it second down and six. Ozario Smith is the back. General Booty looking for his tight end, Ben Shawal, who can't hold on to that big hit. 
Can't fault him much. Destin Hill coming in motion. They'll hand it off to Gallo, who's speeding out right. Able to run away from the defender. KJ Flo. This time, Galloway's going to get hit really hard. They have to sub him out now. No choice in the matter. Running a jet sweep for Nana Davis. Griffin able to hold that block on the edge. And Galloway sneaks in with his 92 speed. Definitely want to get the ball in his hands if Galloway's not on the field. Destin Hill as well. He's got 91 speed. He'll be a senior next year and the wide receiver one. Now here on this kickoff, here comes the... I actually don't know who that is. I don't think I have his name in my notes. Nope, I do not. But that was a good return. He got them at the 30-yard line. And that's Eric Harris with the 10-yard catch. Makes it third down in inches. Here he goes again. He'll pick up the first down. So at midfield now, Eric Harris running the ball again on this play. He's going to shed a tackle, pick up another first down. So it looks like the Warhawk defense breaking down just a little bit. Sending some pressure on this play. He'll be brought down hard. Esther hit Maxwell Ross at the feet. And there's Eric Harris getting another carry on this drive out of nowhere. They keep calling this hurry up. That's why none of the running backs are in. And Douglas on this option will get a, a gain of four. Handing it off to Harris. He's going to bust it out right. Able to get away from the D lineman. Third down and two now. Harris will get this one. Not to the end zone. Down at the two now. They'll run five wide spread out the defense. And look for his man on the right side. Brought down at the one. Very close. Now they'll sub in the running back. And he will score. Chris Russell. He'll extend it for the JMU offense. Going up by seven. Now Booty will find Griffin over the middle. He holds on to this drag route. Gain of seven. Osario Smith gets a carry here. He'll get a gain of three. Third down and one. Calling the hurry up offense right back to him. Here goes Osario Smith. Good run on that play. Haven't seen many of them for the Warhawk offense. Booty getting some good protection. He'll find Destin Hill. Lucky that wasn't intercepted or broken up. But that's a first down nonetheless. At the 45, we'll run a screen pass for Destin Hill. He'll try to speed away, getting a gain of eight. The linebacker Julius Henley brought him down. Here's Ben Shawal getting this one, moving the chains. We've already hit the two-minute warning, so the clock will continue. Looking over the middle for Griffin. He hangs on. He can hang on to those. Now Booty looking for Davis. Trying to get this one out left. He just barely gets stopped there at the one. Needing to tie this one up if we want to go to overtime. Galloway will get this hand off and he sneaks in. Oh my goodness. He's the Undertaker. He's the freaking Undertaker. Oh my God. I forgot that happened. He got up like Michael Myers. And it's Hall almost Halloween time too. Just in time. So now 41-41. And this time Josh Douglas gets sacked. They sent the cornerback Godsey Jr., the senior, on that play. He's had a few sacks this season on those DB blitzes. Russell gets this pass. He'll make it third down and six. ULM wanting to get a stop here, but Russell has other plans. And now almost to midfield. Douglas knocked away. This will be Mike Hill, the senior safety. Second down and 10 for Douglas, and he's got a flag down. He'll just step up in the pocket and get a couple of yards. But that's going to be holding on the offense. Too clean of a pocket. So that'll bring him back. Second and 20. ULM really needed that one. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Taji got wide open on that play. So it's third down and 20. They just hand it off. ULM got really, really lucky on that one. That could have been six. So now we'll go into overtime. Very fortunate. Very, very fortunate. So ULM will get a chance on the coin toss. They defer, and, and they do win it and decide to go on defense. 
So JMU will run some trickery on this one. Haven't seen much of this. Douglas gets hit in the backfield and sheds off of it for a gain of three. Good play by the young quarterback. But Hamlin's all over that play. And now third down and nine. Clean pocket, but it did break down last second. Douglas had to check it down. So out will come the JMU special teams in overtime. Their kick is up and good. And now ULM will get a chance. If they score, they win. At the 25, they'll start with the screen pass for Galloway. And he's going to get tripped up, but he did get a gain of four. So second down and six. Proctor will check in. He hands it off to Galloway. Has some good blocks on the left side. He sheds a tackle, and he'll go into the end zone. Walk off touchdown for the Warhawks. Galloway has sealed it for him. And ULM has now won four in a row. What a game from both teams. I mean, they both wanted this one. But ULM gets their revenge from a year ago. JMU did beat us. And they won 59 to 36 in that one. So we are one and one against JMU in this series now. Galloway and Booty both had great days. Galloway with four touchdowns and a clean day for Booty as well. No turnovers. And we did get to see our possible future QB. He looked solid when he was passing and running. I mean, he does have the upside with mobility, obviously. We ran a lot of options today. But we do have a gem in this recruiting class that I like a lot. The defense led up a lot of points, but I did like how much we were in the backfield. And Esther and Oconquo got interceptions as well. Galloway and Hamlin both earned Sunbelt Players of the Week awards, which is nice. I wonder if they gain XP for that. I'd assume so. And now we face the Big Orange. We, when, when I initially had put them on the schedule, they were ranked, but obviously things have gone horribly wrong for them. They're 2-5 and five and 0-3 and in ACC play, and now they face off against us on a hot four-game win streak. And I got some big recruiting news. George Ball, the three-star gym, did commit to us. He's our first signing of the season, but I'm going to be switching the points around to really nail down a solid class, hopefully. Braden Davis, a six foot five junior quarterback. He's not been bad, but 61% is a little bit low in percentage for him. They have an 89 overall halfback, LaQuint Allen. He has a lot of abilities and is facing a bottom tier defense. So this should be fun, but I'm mainly game planning for Trebor Pina, the 86 overall wide receiver. He's an extremely good route runner with some nice speed. Okonkwo is going to have a really tough matchup today, but he's been excellent this year and he's coming off the interception, so I'm not too worried about it. So here we are in New York. Golobo will give this to Sarah Hughes and ULM will start today on defense. Braden Davis will come out. He's got that Cam Newton size to him on second down. He's going to be sacked by Caleb Edwards. And like I said earlier, this will be highlights. So it's third down and 17 early on for Sarah Hughes. They did not want to start the game off like this. And he's going to take a shot deep for his receiver. And this is going to be dropped. He had a man, had the man beat. Zed Haynes couldn't hang on to it. Now on third down and four, Galloway lets his blocks develop perfectly on that play. And he gets to walk into the end zone. He wants to hear it from this crowd. This is a big stage we're playing on. We haven't played on this big in front of this kind of a stadium since Alabama, I don't think. But Sarah Hughes having a rough time this season. They were ranked number 17 in the nation. Now two and five. And ULM five and two on this play is going to be broken up by Godsey. So Sarah Hughes special teams will come out. That kick will be good for them. So now only down by four, seven to three. And General Booty will come back out. Two tight ends on the field. They hand it off to Galloway. Big opening through the middle. He'll pick up the first down. Over 50 yards with that carry. It's third down and 10 for Booty now, though. And he's going to find Destin Hill on the left side. Gliding up to the, all the way up the left side and out of bounds. 
Now in the I form, he'll hand it off to Galloway who lets his blocks develop so perfectly. The hesitation on that run was so beautiful. Letting his fullback, actually a running back, who is a senior, he'll be gone after this year. He was able to get the block and seal that safety off for him and get the touchdown. Now, Booty's got this one again for Galloway, finding him on the play action. Just 62 yards in the second quarter to start the second quarter. I'll hand it off to Galloway, who's going to get another touchdown. And I did not see this coming. I thought Sarah Hughes would put up a bit more of a fight so far. It's 21-3 to with 10 minutes and 40 seconds to go in the second. But we're going to jump forward. It's still 21-3 to with four minutes to go. And Esther is going to get another interception in this video. And this one's going to be returned for six. 27-3. ULM making a statement against the Orange right now. I don't expect this at all, but ULM get, got another stop and will get the ball back. And now they're in the red zone going into the two minute warning. General Booty's out there, good pocket, but it broke down, but it doesn't matter because Ernie Benshawal, the freshman tight end, is wide open in the end zone. And now he's just standing there menacingly. ULM is now up 35 to three. And we'll get an injury on our left tackle right there. But it doesn't matter because ULM would go on to win 56 to 17. This game was never close. Sarah Hughes got dominated. I didn't show any of the second half because I didn't want this video to drag on. And they never made it interesting. ULM has now really set the tone for the rest of the season, winning five straight games, three of them which being on the road as well. Galloway had another phenomenal game, four more touchdowns, and that's eight in this video. He is really balling out right now. I wish he played more last season, but that doesn't matter now. What matters is we have four games to go, and we are already bowl eligible. I'm so impressed with how this team has played so far this year, but it does concern me as well because a ton of starters are going to be graduating. So I'm really going to have to hit the transfer portal, I think, at least for defense. We're going to be losing so many starters on that side of the ball and look at how these guys perform today. But I will say a lot of these guys who didn't make plays today are guys that will be here next year, like Rogers at middle linebacker and He'll be a senior, Rubio will be a sophomore, but Payne will still be a freshman because of the red shirt. So we might not be in as bad shape as I'm, as I'm predicting. Ben Galloway gets National Player of the Week after that last performance, but not only that, he also jumped into the Heisman race and is currently first in the running back, best running back category. Right now, Galloway has 871 yards and 10 rushing touchdowns, averaging five yards a carry, as well as having 531 yards and five more touchdowns through the air. Right now, we are projected to play in the Birmingham Bowl against Cal, but that is very likely to change. ULM is still sitting atop of the conference, Old Dominion right behind us. They are undefeated in conference play as well and are ranked. So if we meet them at conference championship week, maybe we can get ranked with the win over them. But before that, we got a few more teams to handle first. One of them being Arkansas State, who is five and two and two and one in conference. They're coming off a loss. And after they face us, they have to play Old Dominion. So that is rough sledding for them. They have some really talented players on offense, but very similar to our team. Jalen Rayner is their QB. He's played well so far this season and has a decent arm and some mobility too. He might be a real problem next year for us, but for now he'll be throwing to Malik Hornsby, that four-star receiver that we just saw, and he's a wide receiver who can do it all. Aconquo and this defense are going to have their work cut out for him, I think, in the next episode. If you're not already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. I'm working on a brand new one-off rebuild video that should be out sometime in the next couple of weeks alongside the regular schedule for this series. I talked about the future of the team a couple of times in this episode because we are drawing near the playoffs, or not playoffs, the bowl season and playoffs, all that. And I think we have some core pieces to go and have another shot at a bowl game and conference championship, even after General Booty is gone. We'll still have Galloway. Destin Hill should develop very nicely to be a number one receiver. And if that were to happen, I do think I'd like to move conferences. If you have any thoughts on that or suggestions for the series or the channel, leave your feedback in a comment below. And if your favorite team is the best, be sure to let me know by smashing that like button. 
that's going to do it for today. Peace.